Hi, this is Eurus McSparks, and we're going to continue our lesson on how to build a car using Roblox Studio. In our last lesson, we built a very simple car with a couple of wheels and a vehicle seat. Right now, we're going to make it look a lot more interesting, a lot more like a car. I'm going to move my wheels to the side for a bit, just to get them out of the way, because I want to change the shape of the car a lot. Use the scale tool to make this piece a little bit smaller. I'm going to move the vehicle seat right next to it. Now if we just move these two pieces together and ran the game, they would fall apart because both sides of the pieces are smooth. There's nothing holding them together. There are a couple ways you can keep parts who are side by side next to each other to uh, stick together. We'll use what were called joins. Now a very simple join to use are studs and inlets. We put studs on one side of a piece, put inlets on the corresponding side of the other one, they'll stick together and they won't fall apart. Another type of join we can use, if you prefer, is called a weld. We just click on surface, add weld, and if we move a part next to a weld, it'll stick there too, just like the studs and inlets stick together. The advantage of welds is that the other side can be smooth, can be any surface really, and it'll stick to it just fine. So if you have parts in your game that are falling apart, make sure that either has a weld on one side, or alternatively if you prefer, that one side has inlets, the other side has studs. Now let's keep making our car. I'm going to extend the front of it a lot. So I want the front of our car to be nice and long. Let's see, I think that looks about right. Maybe not quite that long. We're going to add a couple of parts to make it, give it more of a shape. I'm going to add a big block back here, kind of make it look like an engine. I'll put a couple of parts on the side, give the driver some armrests. I'll just put one up the front here. And another one in front of that. Now what I'd like to have for this car is to have a nice very long sloping front. And we could do that with a bunch of square blocks stepping down. But we have a special part in Roblox to serve this purpose. Insert what's called a wedge. To do that we just click on the insert tab in the wedge tool. And it puts a wedge into our world. And a wedge behaves just like a normal block. We can scale it, move it, rotate it, just like we can any other block. But it has a nice smooth slope to it. So it gives our car a nice, nice curve. Now I'm going to move the wheels back into place. So the car looks more like a real car again. I'm going to do just a little bit of tidying. I think make the car look a little bit nicer. Now that we have this nice smooth wedge at the front. I'll make all these other exposed surfaces smooth as well. Keep in mind that does mean that I'm going to have to make all of these parts have welds on the bottom, but they'll stick together. Before they were using studs and inlets to keep themselves attached. That's just a simple matter. Raise these parts up and just replace the inlet surface with a weld. That way everything will stick together nicely. Now we have a nice shape for our car. I think it's looking rather drab. So let's add some color to this. To do that, we just have to select all the parts we want to change. I'm going to select these top parts first. I'm going to change them by using our color tool here. I'm going to change it from this gray to a nice Roblox red. We'll change the bottom pieces of the car, maybe a darker gray. And of course, the, the wheels have to be black for the tires. There we go, that's looking much better. Another thing we can change about the surface of these parts is the material. That gives it some different texture. To do that, and I'm going to select all the parts I want. And by shift clicking, I want all the parts of the car, so I'm going to make sure that they're all highlighted. I'm going to click on this materials button. Right now it's set to plastic. I'm going to change this to metal. 
it'll give our car a much more much more car feeling so it doesn't look more as much like a toy and the tires we don't have any kind of rubber or tire texture we use something that i think looks close we use concrete it's not perfect but i think it looks fairly tire like if there's a different material that you think looks better by all means definitely use it for your car i think this will serve our purposes so we're almost done with our car I just want to add some spoilers to it to make it look more like a race car, make it look more aerodynamic. First, I'm going to copy and paste this part at the front just to give some place for the spoiler to hang on to. But you'll notice that we can make parts nice and wide. I have a good part there. But we can't make it any thinner than it is. That's because the part's form factor is set to brick which means that it can't be any thinner than it is right now. So everything has a nice brick shape when we insert parts. To change this, all we need to do is change the properties of this. We're going to click on View and the Properties window. You notice we have all kinds of information about our part. Notice even we have the brick color and material that we just set. We can even change it here if we want to. The property we're interested in now, though, Form factor, it's down here underneath part. By default, it's set to brick. I'm going to change it to custom. What that lets us do is freely change the size of our part without any kind of constraints. I'm going to click back on the Home tab, then the 1 5th stud scale, so that I can change our part to be any, any size thickness we want. In this case, I'm going to make it really nice and thin. I'm going to put it back into position. And there we go, looking really nice. I'm going to copy and paste it, move it to the back, so we have one for the rear as well. We'll need some part to put on top of, so we'll use this part right here. And just being sure to make sure that one of these parts has a weld, so that the spoiler will stay on top of it. There we go, looking much more like a race car already. In future lessons, we'll add some more embellishments to this. But for now, I think we have a really nice car. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Stay tuned for more. Remember, you make the game.